Um, you know, I, I had mostly joined from a business mindset of, of really kind of bringing order to my work and in going through, like it, it even helped me so much more in my personal personal life and, you know, my relationships and setting goals at home too, and really establishing some work-life balance so that I wasn't just working all the time. I could enjoy my life and spend time with my husband and, you know, friends and stuff too. Yeah. Because I know the first session you did with me was the foundational, was the foundational group. And Mm -hmm. I kind of made y'all, all all you business um, friends that joined that, I kind of forced y'all to focus first on on personal before we added a business group in. And then you you have also done the business group. So specifically, how do you feel like that has helped you? Um, either one, whether you want to talk personally or professionally, um, especially during this pandemic kind of time with moving forward and not either staying stuck or going backwards really helped me kind of break through the fear and, and not, not letting that fear hold me back anymore. Um, I was able to kind of clearly see what my goals were and what I wanted to achieve for, you know, the, the rest of the year and just in moving forward in my work. So, you know, being, being able to stop and evaluate what I'm doing, being able to say no and set boundaries for myself, both personally and, and with work. Great. I just, it's kind of, mind-blowing how much everything's changed for me since the spring that's fantastic of course music to my ears now uh, an aspect of glitter gang that a lot of people really love is having a soul sister and so I wondered like what was your experience with that um with both sessions I did I love both of my soul sisters so much um I I'm still regularly in contact with both of them I love that. Especially with the pandemic starting, it was just really nice to have that connection. Uh, You know, even with friends, we would still talk regularly, but just to know, like, I, I'm connected with someone who's going through exactly what I'm going through, who is, you know, she's in the the calls every week and stuff. So she's, she's getting all the same information I am. Mm -hmm. And then we were both able to bounce ideas off each other to, you know, vent when we needed to vent, celebrate when we, you know, wanted to celebrate just having someone who I know has my back and is listening and that I can share all of that stuff with. Yeah. And I think that's the key. What you said is like knowing that you were going through kind of the same journey together, even if what you were kind of doing in your own individual journeys was a little bit different, knowing that you both were speaking the same language Mm -hmm. really can make all the difference um, just in helping you even move forward quickly. Oh, I love that. So, and I love that you're still talking to them. That's amazing. Oh, I love it. Well, thinking back through some, uh, now you went through 16 weeks of, of Glitter Gang total. So thinking back through those, and this might take you a second to um, to think through, what week really stands out to you as being really impactful in your journey? Um, what from comes to mind? First round, going through talking about relationships. Oh, um, yeah. That one was kind of a big game changer for me. I, you know, I'd, I'd had some some kind of toxic relationships in my life Mm -hmm. and being able to step back and evaluate those and to, to really see it at a time where, you know, I'm not able to personally and physically have those relationships and connections, um, really being evaluate like what, what matters most, who matters most, who do I really connect with and who's only holding me back? What, you know, how I can handle that and deal with problems in my Mm -hmm. relationships. Um, Great. That has kind of changed the tone for me going through the rest of this year. Sure. And I could see where that would impact you both personally and with your business mm-hmm. as well, kind of cutting some ties of maybe some toxic mm-hmm. relationships. Sure. Absolutely. And what about maybe for the for the business group? I think really talking through workflows. Um, mm-hmm. That's been something oh, yeah. I've struggled with is making sure that that I'm working smarter, not harder. And that you know there are aspects of my business that are that are able to keep chugging along in the background while I'm working on other stuff. Um, For sure, knowing that that being able to you know maybe spend more time up front to get those workflows in place is going to save me so much more time in the long run because I'm not having to go through every step over and over and over again. 
Yeah, I could definitely see where that would make a big <laughs> impact. Yeah, great. Well, I love that that was helpful for you. Is there, um, if you were to have a conversation with someone who maybe is even watching this right now and is maybe on the fence about whether or not that they want to sign up for one of the groups for Glitter Gang, what would you say to them or how would you encourage them? Oh, just do it. <laughs> uh, you you won't regret it. I mean, it's it's eight weeks. It's not that much time. Sure. Um, you know, you, you do get into it or you do get out of it what you put into it. So, right. you know, if it's something where you start off and like, oh man, I just, I don't have the time. That's okay. You're, you're giving everyone all the materials anyway. So it's always mm -hmm. something that can be revisited. Um, I've kept all of my my notes and work pages nice. and stuff from both of them and I've I've gone back through to revisit stuff like hey I know we talked about this like how can I improve upon this now being yeah. you know in, the, in a different place I've seen my growth from all of these like where can where else can I go with this so it's that's awesome I I'm so glad that I did both of those sessions because it's helped me in so many ways like personal and business wise I, you know, I've gotten so much more out of both of those than I could have expected. Okay. So be like Nike and just do it. Just, just is do what it. I heard. Just yeah. Plus, I mean, hanging out with Meg every week. Oh my gosh. It's the best. It's, I mean, it's not dull. No. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much a party for sure, but also hard work. And I think what you've said is really important to note of like, listen, yeah, it is. It is an investment of not only a monetary investment, which honestly get donated, but like it is a monetary investment, um, but it's also an investment of your time, which is important. You know, you it does take a little bit of time, but also, you know, if you can't give as much as you'd like in the moment, um, it's still important to show up, but that also you can go deeper at any time you'll have all, the, all of those resources for sure. Yeah. That's a good point, yeah. Well, is there anything else that you would like to mention um, about your experience in Glitter Gang or anything that maybe we haven't talked about? Um, I mean, I, I really did love it. And you, you did say like it, it is hard work. There, there were some weeks where I was just like, man, I, I don't know. I don't know about this, you know, and it, it definitely made me think way more than I planned to. <laughs> but, <laughs> but putting that time and effort and energy in has has brought me so much further than I could have done on my own not doing Glitter Gang. 